we got in this two beasts in this wild goose chase this much. She's not a chicken. She has a town to take care of. Aye, you just don't want to chase some ghosts. I love old maps. When I was a little girl, they always led to treasure. <laughs> they always make me feel more lost. My name's Lara, by the way. Pilar. You don't look like the type of tourists we usually get. I'm an archaeologist, actually. Uh, yes, that would be more fitting, I think. You should speak with Abigail. She knows the history of this place better than almost anyone. We've already met. Abby's been kind enough to let my friend and I stay with her while we're visiting. Ah. <laughs> well then, you are a welcomed guest in Kuakiaku. Thank you. Do you need help understanding the map? <laughs> it wasn't meant for me to understand. I have hidden the truth, as Abigail will find, but to uncover it, she must take a trip back in time. <laughs> Mariana was never much of a poet. <laughs> Mariana? Abigail's grandmother. We lost her to cancer. One year ago today, actually. I'm sorry to hear that. Mariana wanted Abigail to have the map on the anniversary of her death, but... You're not sure? I don't know if she's ready. It's none of my business, but if it helps, Mariana believes she was. Ah. You're right. I guess it never was my decision, was it? Would you mind delivering the map to Abigail? You could make a full-time job of chasing that girl around, oh, and my hips just won't have it. <laughs> Not at all. Abby's grandmother wanted her to have this, but why? Pilar didn't seem to know. It has to have something to do with the riddle she wrote on the back. I have hidden the truth, as Abigail will find, but to uncover it, she must take a trip back in time. Abby, it's Lara. Hey, stranger. How are you making out? How's Jonah? Jonah's fine. He's with a friend. <laughs> a friend, huh? What's her name? <laughs> His name is Uchu. Listen, Abby, I'm back in Kwakiaku and I've come across an old map that belonged to your grandmother. Hmm. Well, there's an old timer in town, Diego. He runs the community garden. He's in two maps, I think. Maybe he can take a look. Meet me there? On my way. Can I help you? I'm a friend of Abby's. She asked me to meet her here. We have a map we'd like you to look at. Oh, let's have a look. Mm, this is a nice piece of work. Good detail. Happy to see it held up all these years. You're familiar with it? Might be a little more dust in the attic these days, but I never forget my work. Abby's grandmother asked me to draw it up. If I remember right, it was supposed to be some kind of gift for Abby. 
There are blemishes here, three of them, do you see? Hmm. I didn't put those there. It smells like lemon, doesn't it? Lemon? Lemon juice can be used as ink to... There could be a heat fix message hidden in the map. Can I use your brazier? Sure. Be my guest. So how does this work? Well, lemon juice is organic, so it will oxidize and turn brown when it's heated, and a secret message will appear. It's been a lot of years. You think it'll still show? As soon as Abby gets here, we're gonna find out. Find out what? Speak of the devil. <laughs> I'm an angel, Diego. You know that. <laughs> Not when you were little. <laughs> Abby, according to Diego, your grandmother asked him to make the map for you, as a gift. Why would I need a map of the village? I'd know this place in my sleep. There's more. Your grandmother hid something here in the paper. You can barely see it. I think it's a secret message. She used invisible ink. Invisible ink? Really? Well, it's just lemon juice, but... But it does the trick. So, what's this secret? Don't know. May I? Let's take a look. Look, those symbols there. Three X's. X marks the spot. <laughs> Cute, Grandma. Are these points far from here? Nope. Should we split up? Sure. I'll take those two there. Thanks. Abby's grandmother, Mariana. Use lemon juice as invisible ink to hide three small X's, like a classic treasure map. Anything you want to trade? Lo siento. Impossible. I can't carry any more. Follow the Napo to the Amazon. Nothing but jungle for weeks.
Phillips got the fever and I had to drag the bastard through this forsaken jungle for the last... There's a three-stepped edge on one side that looks to have been carved by hand. Interesting. The other edge is roughly broken, like it's been shattered. This is only a piece of something larger. Abby, how are you making out? Almost at it. Whatever it is. You? Look for a fragment of stone with a three-stepped edge. I found one here. I'm sure we're looking for two others. You're the expert. This describes something nearby. I lie silent where arrows once flew, guarding a door which will no longer open.
side. Broken on the other. Definitely part of something larger. It's almost familiar, but I wonder... <laughs> 